It's true, Sean. What the? What are you talking about? What's true? All of it. You, you know, all of, all, all of it. You know it. So where where can I find this truth? It. Uh, on the Pop Bros Network because this is a Pop Bros exclusive. Did you just want to act like Han Solo again? You know, doing a promotional spot isn't like dusting crops, boy. What's up, everybody? I'm Richard. And, I, oh, and I'm Sean. <laughs> oh, my God. We're speaking the language of bromance. I think I just hit puberty. And, Sean, are you going through some changes? Yeah, I got some hair growing in some weird places. My voice keeps cracking. <laughs> I saw I saw a girl today, and I didn't think she had cooties. It was weird. What's happening to my special purpose? <laughs> that hasn't happened in a while. You know, stuff happened in my special place. <laughs> Do we so need to have a talk off mic? Yeah, I think so. What does it mean when... See, when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much. <laughs> That's why they scream at each other and yell. Yeah. And then they get divorced. Oh. Yay, two Christmases! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Richard, I recently got to visit uh, visit a zoo in Omaha. In Omaha? Yeah, Omaha. Why were you in... Yeah, that's... In, in Nebraska. Why were you in Nebraska? Uh, well, Tiffany's got a friend that lives up there, so we went to visit. So we took the five, five and a half hour drive to Wis- to Minnesota. No, I'm sorry. I don't even know where the fuck I am. <laughs> you went from Wisconsin to Minnesota <laughs> and then to Nebraska. We took the long way around. <laughs> you know those northern states up there. We, drew, we drove in this big half circle, and after three days, we reached our destination. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany kept saying, I think you're going the wrong way. I said, shut up, woman. What do you know about driving? <laughs> All right, well, you're the man. That's right, I'm the man. God, this is taking forever. Put my arm over. And that never works. Does that ever work for you? You know. The, it's a long trip. You put your arm over. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I let's see. I have been married for, <sighs> four, no, fifth, it'll be 15 years wow. in August. And I think... That in the entire time that I have been together, I think that it might have worked once. But I'm not even sure if that's exactly how things went down. <laughs> she was just tired of you nagging for the three hours in the trip. <laughs> probably. Probably. Let's, let's get this two and a half minutes over with already. And you're like, oh, stop talking me up. <laughs> It's only going to be a minute. I've been so excited for the last hour and a half. You have I no have idea. waited 15 years for this. <laughs> it's my moment to shine. Oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got all over my sippy cup. Damn it. <laughs> you have to stop at the gas station and get a new cup. Where, where do you want me to put it? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near me. That stuff's gross. <laughs> uh, so we made the trip up to, a, to Nebraska. So it was about a five and a half hour drive and the drive wasn't too bad, but we spent the weekend with a couple of her friends and we went to the Omaha Zoo. It's like the a top five zoo in the country. Wow. Now, do you, have you visited the zoo very often? Like, have you gone to a zoo recently? I have been to the zoo in St. Louis, which it's like a top five zoo as well. It's like San Diego, St. Louis. I was going to say, I had the chance to go to the San Diego Zoo, and I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. I think I was just short. It was a free day, but I just didn't have the cash for it. Yeah, because I know St. Louis is free because Anheuser-Busch pays for it. Uh, the Nebraska, <laughs> the, the Om- yeah, the Omaha uh, Zoo was like 15 bucks, so it wasn't too bad. What was at the Omaha Zoo? What happens? To- okay, here's the- here's my thing. This is one thing I've always wondered about about zoos in general, and you, I'm sure you don't have an answer to this question, but... Okay, so you have all these animals from all sorts of different parts of the world. You have, you know, giraffes and lions and place, you know, from places like Africa and the savanna or Asia or, you know, okay. And you move them to a zoo. You move them, you know, to their own little paddock that's outside in the Midwest. Yeah. Like what happens during the winter? Do they bring all the animals in somewhere? Well, this 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 zoo looks like I know most zoos don't. It looks like most zoos they pretty much just leave them out in the open. Like you have lions sitting next to to snow, 
And you know the lion is thinking, like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, this shit's cold. Yeah. What's cold? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> this place had uh, a lot of indoor stuff, so, like, the cats could go in and out. Um, a lot of the other animals were kept inside. Like, they had this. So it's kind of cool. In the Omaha Zoo, they have this big desert dome is what it's called. So it's this big, it looks like almost the like the uh, um, thing in Disneyland, that big okay. bull thing. But inside, they have a bunch of, like, desert creatures. The Ep- Ep- Epcot. Epcot, yeah. It looks just like Epcot, except it's see-through with glass, so, like, the sun shines. So it's kind of warm. It's a deserty feel. And as you're walking around, there's all kinds of desert animals, and they got this really cool rattlesnake set up where it looks like an old mine shaft. There's just like 20 or 30 rattlesnakes just hanging out. Dang. And what's what's really cool is so you got this deserty thing on top, but then you go down below, and they have a, a swamp and like a cave area. These guys had a shit ton of bats, and I don't know if you've ever seen bats flying around, but it is probably the coolest thing ever. Yeah. I watched I watched Batman Begins. I know I I've seen what bats do. It looked kind of like how, that. That's yeah. how bats work, right? So they, they had like the they're gla- they were glassed in so they weren't free like like flying around cuz that might not be as fun. I'm like, "Oh god, they're in my hair." <laughs> rabies! Rabies! Everything I know about the world I've learned from movies. Cujo, is that where you learned it? No, Goonies. Uh, well, Cuj- Cujo got bit by a ra- rabid bat. No. I think so. At least I think it was. I remember. I don't know. That dog was pissed. <laughs> yeah, he was. You know, uh, to make it look like he had blood on his face, they used ketchup. I did not know that. Yeah. So he was he was mad, but he really wasn't. He was just like, I love ketchup so much. Yeah. He's like drooling and stuff. He's like, I just want to get the ketchup around <laughs> my face. <laughs> but yeah, they had these bats in close. So you saw some of them hanging. And, it, and they have it set up so it looks like it's nighttime. So they're just like flying all over the place. Some are hanging upside down. And so that was really cool. But the thing that always freaks me out about about zoos and and these kind of places is they had like a swamp area. Okay. And it was it almost looked like Louisiana. You walk in and there was a uh like it looked like a, you know, a trapper's hut type, you know, cabin. And then everything was bridges. So you're walking around these bridges and the first place you walk into, there's like two or three like 10 to 15 foot alligators just sitting there in the water. Yeah, because it's a swamp. I mean, you think swamp is synonymous with gator. They always they always say in the, the, the whole Louisiana thing, it's always people like, we'll feed them to the fucking gators. Which is probably like where the best place to dump a body because you know they would just tear it up because they eat anything. Yeah. But you're literally on this. I'm sure it's concrete, and then they just make it look like it's a wooden bridge. But, you know, there's a little railing and then just some netting, and you're literally like maybe 12 feet away from these alligators. They're like two and a half, three foot down in like six to seven inches of water, just hanging out. And I always have these irrational fears like I'm going to fall in or for some reason I'm going to jump in for, you know, just a random reason. I'll be like, hey, I want to jump in this water. Splash and dead. They're like, there's a, oh, there's a spider on me and you fall off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is that? Oh, God, it's a snake. Ah, a spider. Thud. <laughs> and then you fall into the net and then the net breaks and then there you are. And I'm just hanging there, and the gator's like, oh, well, I guess it's feeding time. Nom, 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 nom. God, those things, I, I absolutely love alligators, though. I mean, for being scared of things in the water, alligators are super cool creatures. Um, I've been down to Florida, and there's, like, um, the, the canals where they just kind of hang out on the side of the road. Yeah. And they just, you know, their legs are just scooting, 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 and their top of their body's barely moving. And it's just so cool to see them just kind of coast across that water. I've always had this theory that's why old people move to Florida is because they're just hoping for, like, suicide by gator. Because they just, like, wander in into places. They're like deer here, you know, in the Midwest. It's like deer. Like, you find – I was driving – I was taking my wife to work this morning, and in the middle of – in the middle of a, of a town, like, not far from the center of town on the side of the road, dead deer. You know what you don't see on the side of the road, though, in Florida is dead gators. You know what you do see? Dead old people. <laughs> so I'm saying, I think that's what, I think they're just like, well, it's like an elephant graveyard. Like, that's where, that's where old, that's where people go to die. They're just, there's, they just sit in their house and they're just like, God, I hope a fucking gator bursts in here and just ends it. They either hope for one of the big gators or a, uh, one of the bow constrictors that are free down there now. Have you seen some of those badass things? I've seen pictures, but that's, I mean, that's why they say in Florida, 
if you hit a ball into the woods, like certain times of the year, like, yeah, that's nature's ball. You don't go try and find it. You just <laughs> leave it be. <laughs> but it's my ball. Well, fine. Go get it. Yeah. No, better yet. I'll go get it. Why do you want to get it, Grandpa? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's my time. That's why. <laughs> just stay here and look away. <laughs> look away, child. <laughs> What's happening to Grandpa? He's fulfilling his destiny, son. He comes back out. He's defeated the alligator. It's like, damn thing wasn't strong enough. I killed it. Now I got to make boots. I just want to <laughs> die, damn it. One day I'll find the gator that took me. That'll take me. <laughs> so that's the whole thing of old people go down there trying to fight alligators. Find the one gator that's strong enough to take them out. Yeah. But, I mean, recently I've been seeing a lot of stories, and, and Zoo's... Like, this was a nice zoo, but as you're going through these exhibits, it kind of makes me a little sad because, you know, you have, like, those gators. These are wild animals, right? You know, these are animals that roam miles and miles a day going out and killing food, going out and finding ladies and banging them, being like, yeah, you're yeah. going to lay my eggs, lady. Now I'm going to go eat me a pelican. Come here. It's for some sexy gator time. But right now, it's, it's almost like jail. It's just two male gators hanging out together. Like, what do you want to do? I don't know. Let's just float here. You want to bang? Well, let's let's, let's wait, wait till all the kids are gone. We don't want to we don't want to scar them for life. <laughs> no, 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 Steve. Let them watch. <laughs> let them watch, Steve. <laughs> okay, Larry, let's do this. Mom, what are the two gators doing? The Supreme Court said it's fine now. <laughs> oh, Timmy, they're trying to make babies, but they both look like they have man parts. <laughs> uh oh, God. Uh, let's go look at the beavers. <laughs> Let's go look at the monkeys. That's a bad idea, ma'am. <laughs> I'd stay away from the monkey cage right now, right now, miss. <laughs> <laughs> they get a little frisky around feeding time. <laughs> but you go around and you see, like, the gators there. I mean, it, it's really sad. And I've recently been looking at a lot of stories, kind of like, you know, there's the the story about SeaWorld and the, the Shamu and, you know, the, yeah. the killer whales and how sad they did are. You ever and... Did you ever watch that? that uh, oh, shit, what was the name? That Blackfish? No, I want to. I really want to. Oh, uh, my God. That that will actually, th that swore me off SeaWorld. I was like, I can't go to SeaWorld. I watched that. I was like, I can't go to SeaWorld. And I lived 15 minutes away. For, I was a 15-minute drive from SeaWorld. Like, it was literally 15 minutes from my house. So did, did you drive by it a lot? Like, did you see people Oh yeah, and stuff? Yeah. No, I never, I didn't see people like standing out there. I mean, like I would drive, like you drive past, there's, it, I mean, it's kind of like a theme park where there's, you know, there's like two or three different entrances and then a gigantic ass parking lot. Yeah. So like you don't, I mean, you can barely even see the entrance from if you're, if you're just driving past it. Gotcha. I mean, they talk about a lot of animals and in captivity, they actually do live longer because they don't have as many predators. They get, you know. Basically, they get their meals all the time. Health, you know, they get health care type stuff like they're taken care of. But, you know, they talk about like great white sharks. They, I think the longest a great white shark has ever lived in captivity is like 20 days. Yeah. It's either Japan or China recently caught one and it died in captivity. Um, they talk about the, the killer whales. They live barely like to what, 30, 25 or 30 and they die. Yeah, something like that. And then in the wild, their their lifespan is maybe might be as much as twice as long. Well, they showed like a, a a pod of killer whales. It was a grandma who was like in her hundreds. Yeah. Not like multiple hundreds, but like she's like 101, 102 with like five generations of her offspring. Yeah. And see that that's the thing like with killer whales they're apparently the, the thing with killer whales is that they're extremely social creatures, like yeah. extremely. And that's why, that's why they're, you know, they, that's why they come off as so friendly and, you know, and this, that it's because they're so extremely social to the point where they have this, where they almost kind of depend on each other. Yeah. In, in a sense. And so then when you take one and put it by itself, then it like, that's what makes them that, that that's why they occasionally go fucking crazy. Well, I mean, it's just, I mean, they, they get super depressed and I don't think people think of animals getting depressed. It's like, well, it's just a, it's an animal, you know, it's right. just a big dumb thing. Yeah. Fuck that. We got opposable thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> it's happier this way, you know, Hey, killer whale. Why don't you build a house? 
<laughs> Why don't you free yourself, Willie? Get it? Free Willie? We made a movie about that <laughs> shit. <laughs> made billions. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You whine a little bit more. Kids are coming in at three. You splash the shit out of them, Willie. You don't know what sadness is. <laughs> Let me tell you about my life. You know what I ate last night? A TV dinner. You know what you got? Caviar. Who's really depressed here, <laughs> Willie? Who has a better cause to be sad? I wish you'd just freak out, Willie, and kill me. Fucking panda fish. <laughs> panda fish? <laughs> <laughs> you get like, Willie's like, you know, I don't mind being in here. I just wish you wouldn't talk so bad about me. Why are you so mean? <laughs> panda fish? We're not even from the same continent. <laughs> Dickhole. Is he trying to be insulting? I think he's being insulting. Oh, I can't talk to anybody I'm by myself. Oh. Maybe if I talk loud enough, they'll hear me in the other ocean. Maybe it's just call waiting. Maybe they'll get back to me. Oh. Wah, wah. Big fish are sad. I mean, you always, like, this started to make me think while I'm in here, because you see these snakes, like, so there's these snakes that are basically in these glorified fish tanks, just all by themselves, you know, just hanging out. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of the same thoughts, like, you know, is that snake really happy? It's it's in a cage. Get, I mean, it's getting fed regularly, but it's just hanging out by itself, you know? Well, and that's that's the thing that I, I, I think that I think that people make separations in their head like we watch a documentary about killer whales and all of a sudden we're like killer whales have feelings too what about the snakes well fuck the snakes <laughs> where they know slithering around all over the place yeah fuck them you ever want to cuddle with a snake yeah they gave even apple so <laughs> fuck that thing that's what they get they get stuck in fish tanks yeah that's what you get for making us smart <laughs> Damn reptile. You made us find out the truth. We were in <laughs> heaven, bastard. I don't know. We were somewhere. I didn't read the book. It was too long. <laughs> I didn't read the book. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's in, like, the first, like, it's, like, three pages. It's not, oh, man, that's too far. Yeah, yeah. I I actually have a copy of the Bible. Uh, narr- it's a, it's audiobook narrated by James Earl Jones. Nice. Tell me that's not awesome. My favorite is the Gospel of Luke. <laughs> yeah. It's good. I mean, uh, so, okay, talking about the Bible, it's funny. Um, <laughs> I love it when a story starts like that. <laughs> Speaking about the Bible, something funny. <laughs> funny story about the Bible. Well, I mean, have you have you read much of the, like have you have, I'm not getting really religious here cuz I mean I haven't read much of the Bible, but you know, the Bible's pretty graphic. There's a lot of sexual stuff, there's a lot of violence, there's you know, a lot of stuff. Sodom and Gomorrah, Tower yeah. of Babel. Whoa. Good good Bible. Yeah, Lot and his wife, Pillars of Salt. The the couple we went to visit, they're very uh they're very religious and they got kind of a I think it was like a Lego type scenario, but it came with like pieces. And it kind of narrated the Bible, you know, from beginning to end or whatever. And she said, she's like, well, it's very, very graphic. And I was like, oh, it must be violent because, you know, the Bible's violent. But apparently it gets pretty graphic sexually. Oh. So it is a little sexy. She's like, yeah, we had to, we kind of had to skip some parts. We couldn't really show the kids <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> but but we took them to the zoo and we're like, what are those monkeys doing, mom, dad? What are they doing? Uh, well, well, I'll go home and show you the Lego pieces, all right? <laughs> they didn't show the male and male monkeys in the Bible, did they, Mom? No, they they skipped over that part. You know how that you know how that came about. There was a kid who, you know, took his sister Barbie, and you know, you know like you, when you're a kid, you know, you're everybody's first por- everybody's first yeah, first porno is GI Joe and Barbie. Yeah. That's still my porno. That's my go-to. <laughs> In the drawer in the nightstand, he's having G.I. Joe Barbie. <laughs> hey, babe, babe, guess what time it is? She's like, oh, God, not this. Oh, I'm a fancy G.I. Joe. I'm <laughs> pulls out the lotion, <laughs> then pulls out two dolls. <laughs> uh, babe, why are you crying? This is beautiful. <laughs> G.I. Joe. I want to get the dream house. <laughs> That's really what it is. Like, I don't really have, like, sexual interaction. They just get married, and they're super happy, and they go on vacations, and wackiness ensues. 
G.I. Joe and Barbie, you're into such hijinks. <laughs> what? A road trip? Okay, Barbie. <laughs> Whatever could go wrong. <laughs> Oh, no, I have a flat tire. Good thing G.I. Joe's here to fix it. Sean, what are you doing? It's it's G.I. Joe and Bob. They're solving crimes. (laughs) They're getting together and solving crimes. Don't come in here. They would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for the pesky dog. (laughs) Why are you in the bathroom? Don't come in here. (laughs) Your father warned me about this. It's spring break, babe. They're at the beach. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany busts in She's like expecting me to be naked And doing something appropriate <laughs> I'm just in my swim trunks <laughs> I got floaties and no stuff on In the tub Yeah. <laughs> I warned you Oh god I can't unsee this <laughs> <laughs> Laura yeah You definitely need to come get your son I can't handle him anymore <laughs> Is that mom? Tell her to bring the speedboat <laughs> uh oh okay so 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 the guy had gi joe and barbie and then and then you know dad comes in he's like hey you can't be doing that you know and then he grows up and he's like i'm gonna show him then he makes legos he makes legos and he's like yeah guess what we're gonna (laughs) we're gonna do the lego diorama of sodom and gomorrah guess what they did there what what they do there it was like big orgy kind of thing it was like, it was, you know what it was? It was a day in the life of the bonobos. That's what it was. <laughs> Everybody just banging each other. Yeah. And God got pissed. <laughs> God's like, you guys are coming too much. Stop coming. Knock it off. <laughs> One guy's about to finish. He's like, oh, are you sure, God? I'm just about there. After this one, right? Oh, God, lightning. All right, I'll stop. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. <laughs> he gets shocked. He's like, oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh. Yep, there's something to this electricity, guys. God's like, damn it. Oh, God, I hit him in the prostate. <laughs> What's a prostate? Shit. <laughs> but, yeah, like, you see the snake, and he's just hanging out. And, they, you know, they see all these people walking by, so you know they get really used to humans. Yeah. But I, you kind of think about it, you know, roles reversed. You know, what would they do with humans? Would they, you know, if, let's say, I don't know, let's say some, we aren't the top of the species, we're just another animal, and they throw us into our pen, you know, what's going to be there for us? You know, is it going to be a TV, you know, an iPhone? Could you imagine how depressed you would be, Richard, since you and I couldn't do this show? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure we could. We just, like, have, like, little tin cans (laughs) from, from paddock to paddock. Well, people would walk by and be like, oh, he's, you know, in the wild, sometimes these humans will do what yeah. they call a podcast. <laughs> you know, Richard's been trying to communicate with, I don't know who, it must be one of his friends in nature. Sean! <laughs> it's winter here. <laughs> then you're like, it's summer here. We're right next door to each other. <laughs> I want to visit. I missed you so much. As you can see, he's spending absolutely no time with the female. <laughs> Babe, we've been locked in this pen for three years. Shut up, I think I can hear him. <laughs> you just smell the glass. <laughs> uh, I think that was him. I think it was him who sprayed. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so you're saying if, if we were the ones in zoos, what would we have for creature comforts? Yeah, I mean, you would know, they you just s- like would they just put us in like the middle of a of a jungle setting and be like, yeah, they're you know, I <laughs> I mean, I think that I, that's I think that's what you want, right? I don't understand your speech. <laughs> just sitting there, kind of rocking. It's like, look, a swing. It's a swing, human. Jump in and swing, human. Oh, here's a golden. Here's a goldfish. Goldfish cracker. Why are for you ya. crying? Oh, so is that the thing with zoos? Is it like, what if you were in that position? Is that why is is that what you find depressing? A little about bit. It? I mean, I think humans would be almost like the killer whale because humans are very social creatures. But yeah, you know that you know it's like oh we have one human in this this you know glorified bedroom basically, and you know it's like oh well I guess I'll I'll play with this ball, I'll lay down here and sleep. <laughs> oh look, more apes walking by and kids pounding on the glass, and that's the other thing. <laughs> There are so many hey! kids who don't realize. Stop pounding on the glass. He doesn't like that. Please stop. Human. Human. Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, that's a human. 
<laughs> what's what's he doing with that toy gun, babe? Yeah. Oh, he's wishing he didn't have fake bullets. Yeah. Then you got to poo and everybody's looking. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you see that at the zoo. I saw a monkey pooping. Yeah. And Tiffany had to point that out. <laughs> She's like, look what that one's doing. I was like, is he masturbating? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's just pooping. Oh, wish he was masturbating. <laughs> monkey! Monkey! Masturbate! I got my <laughs> camera. Masturbate! What What do you mean I have to leave? I paid money for this. <laughs> they do it like we do. <laughs> It was fun. So, uh, babe, how come he doesn't cry afterwards? <laughs> he just laughs monog- you know, maliciously. He doesn't have that shame after he after he finishes and the porn's still on. <laughs> the female monkey sees him and just walks away. She doesn't even say anything. You should Which, take note. Okay, you know what? I okay. Th- th- that just that sparked a thought in my brain. Okay, and I'm I'm gonna okay. We're we're gonna get we're gonna get intimate here. We're gonna get intimate <laughs> and a bit personal. All right. Okay. Have you ever jerked off in a room that you usually don't jerk off in, and the <laughs> things that you have that you, the and the things that you use to you know clean yourself up are in another room? Have you ever had that happen? Okay, probably yeah. Okay, how much of a shitty person do you feel making that walk to the next room? <laughs> it's the walk of shame. Yeah. You're just imagining like somebody it's, it's like a game of Thrones. You're imagining somebody standing behind you. Just <laughs> shame, shame, <laughs> ringing a bell. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> Every time that happens to me, that's what, that's what pops in my head. I'm just thinking of somebody behind me ringing a bell. Shame. Well, I think shame. <laughs> I think the problem is, is you do it with the windows open, so it's actually your neighbors <laughs> pointing. Oh. Shame. You should be shame. shameful, Richard. Oh, damn it! It dripped on the floor. Shame this man. Hey, everyone. This is Tom from the Say What Podcast, and I would love it if you'd swing over to SayWhatPodcast.com to check us out as soon as you're done listening to this show. We handpick real news articles to poke fun at every week, like a lady from Florida attacking her boyfriend with a ceramic squirrel, or kids rubbing chapstick in their eyes to get high, or the guy who got arrested for repeatedly having sex with an inflatable pool shark. Yeah, I think you get the point. So tune into the Say What Podcast every Friday on iTunes, Stitcher, and at SayWhatPodcast.com. Well, that's the thing. So, you know, what do you what would happen in that situation that, you know, you are in the human zoo? You know, monkeys, you know, I would say we'd be probably like the monkeys. You know, every now and then you'll see a monkey just get sexy with himself. He don't give a yeah. fuck. Yeah. He looks you right yeah. in the eyes. He does. He looks you right in the eyes. Like, look at it. Just stare right at it. Sick. Yeah, sick that's animals. right. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm going to eat this apple while I do it. Oh, look at that hole in the apple. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with the apple. <laughs> uh, fourth time today, everybody. Get your money's worth. <laughs> yeah, get your money's worth. Watch the monkey yeah, do everybody it. Everybody gather around. <laughs> Coco's gonna experience the only joy he ever does in this stupid zoo. Uh, he just cries on it. It's like, oh, that helps a little bit. No, see, he does it. That's the thing, is he does it with that with zero fucks given. Zero fucks given. But like me, I would I, I'd have to like not face them. <laughs> he turns and just turn around. Hey, what's that? What's what's that human over there doing? You're looking over your shoulder, like, you know, trying to do it all secretly. Stop it. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> Why doesn't he just mate with a female? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were here 10 minutes later, he, you know, he walked over and tried to get with the female, but she turned him down. Aww. But you wouldn't know that because you haven't been here all day. <laughs> so that's another, so that's another good point. Um, uh, whenever I go to the zoo, I like to like watch the stuff for a little bit, almost to give them kind of appreciation. Like, thank you for being a captive. I will enjoy your uh, presence here a little bit longer than most. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. 
Most people, they just thought, walk, they walk by, they stand there for, you know, less than five seconds, and yeah. then they move on. They're like, oh, giraffe. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Eat your leaf, giraffe. Stupid fucking animal. I'm going to throw a leaf at it. <laughs> uh. Oh, it didn't go over the fence. Ha, you don't get to eat that leaf giraffe. Ha, ha, I, I showed him. Long neck bastard. <laughs> Who has a long neck anyway? That stupid guy. I hate giraffes. I wish a lion would eat you, giraffe. Let's go get some pretzels and cheese toss. <laughs> <laughs> That's the day the pros went to the zoo. <laughs> Yo, let's go check out the penguins. I hear they're fly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what up, penguins? <laughs> Big one in the house. Look at that one. It dipped in the water. That's so dope. <laughs> Yo, check it out. Looks like a tuxedo. No tuxedo, bro. Oh, it's a girl. It's, it's a girl. One. Yeah, you fancy. You <laughs> fancy as fuck. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to have to ask you at least. Whatever, bitch. I work here. It's my day off. I come <laughs> see my own penguin bros. Penguin for life. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, and then you have that moment where you're like, oh, God, they're trapped in a zoo forever. Yeah. Aww. And, again, it's like you think about, you know, humans being in that situation. And it's really, I mean, it's funny because it seems like, like you said, it's it's the animals we see as cuddly that people are like, oh, that's so sad that they're trapped here. I mean, you look at some of those animals, they just look at you like, yeah, I'm, I'm in the same 14 by 14 foot cage I've been in for the last Four years. You know, maybe that's why people don't linger at, at you know, at a given exhibit. Like, they go and they look at the giraffe and they're like, oh, giraffe, and then they leave. I think it's because if they took a, if they took that extra, you know, 30 seconds to sit there and be like, God, this giraffe's been here for years, and it's probably going to be here for years. Yeah. Does it have enough room to move? It's like, yeah, it's got plenty of room. But, you know, when it was in this, you know, the Africa Safari or the African Sahara. Savannah. 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 They're in Georgia. I didn't know. I didn't know giraffes were in Georgia. Not close. It's so <laughs> close. They're like right next to each other. <laughs> you know, they're in the, they're in Savannah and they have all this, you know, continent to run across. You know, but yeah, this <laughs> This 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 little pit here that we've built for them, yeah, that's that's plenty. Oh yeah, you know they've been eating this oak tree. They've got all they need, and you know there's moments where there there's moments where you sit there and you're like, what would it take for this thing to get out of wherever it is? Like I like the last time I went to the zoo, I saw the uh, they had a uh, a panther, and it's in this you know it's in its little cat thing. It's in you know it's in its little paddock and. I mean, it wasn't that high. It, I mean, it could have jumped. I think it could have jumped and made it up over the railing, but they had this, like, net, you know, over the whole thing. Yeah. But I'm just sitting there thinking, like, you know, it, I mean, this net is all that separates this thing from just jumping out here and eating my face. Well, they had a, I think it was a tiger escape, like, five or six years ago from a zoo. Yeah. The the bros, the bros, you know, hung out with the penguins long enough. Like, I'm gonna go fuck with the tiger. Hey, tiger, here, goody, 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 goody. Let's get get your ass out of that cage. Hey, what's he doing? <laughs> he's he's getting out of the cage and going to eat your face. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. Is that is that another part of it? Are we flirting with danger when we do it? Uh, is, is, are we tricking ourselves into flirting with danger? Like, I am, you know, five feet away from this thing that could easily tear me to shreds? Maybe. I mean, you look at, like, the rattlesnake thing. I mean, if, if for somehow, some reason those snakes could get out, those 20 or 25 snakes, there's a lot of people that are going to get bit. There's just, yeah. there's, I guarantee you. And it's weird because, you know, you walk by those type of things, and the snakes just kind of, like, everything is used to humans. They don't. They don't really, I think, see them as a threat, but I always wonder, if they do get out, what would they do? You know, I mean, you've seen the videos of people petting the tigers or petting the lions, and the lion freaks the fuck out, grabs a hold of them, pulls them into the cage. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at Siegfried and Roy. I mean, they had tigers on their fucking stage for years. They're just like, hey, let's do magic, and, and there's tigers. And one day, just a tiger was like, you know what? I just want to see what you taste like, Roy. <laughs> Ate his face. 
This is for not pulling out last night, Roy Chomp. Because <laughs> they had sex with those things, right? Is that was that part of the the show? Uh, they had sex with the tigers and lions, or is that a is that a different no. movie I saw? <laughs> what? That, I think that's a different movie. Oh, okay. Shame. <laughs> Shame. It's like don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> Roy's all. Ba- <laughs> Roy's all banded up. He's like, totally worth it. You haven't lived until you had sex with a tiger. Yeah, mother may I sleep with... <laughs> mother may I sleep with danger. <laughs> uh, that's gross. Yeah, it is. Uh, but so, um, you know, talking about the sexiness of the animals, you know, whenever, you know, as an adult, you go and, you know, you look at the monkeys and stuff. You know, what are you looking for? You're looking for something inappropriate, right? I mean, I would imagine everybody does. Yeah, I think when it comes to the when it comes to the monkeys, everybody's like, I want to see one shit in its hand and throw it, or I want to see one like I want to see a monkey fuck another monkey, or I want to see you know a monkey jerk off and try and throw <laughs> shit at me. It's the only reason I came to the zoo. I want to see a monkey tug one out or bang another monkey or you know shit shit on the glass. I don't care. I just want to see something inappropriate. So. uh it was kind of sad. It was kind of romantic, but we're sitting there watching these monkeys, and uh, there's one. I think it was a female monkey because she was a little bit smaller, and she kind of lays there with her legs spread. And I see another one walk up. And I kind of nudge Tiffany, and I nudge her friend. I'm like, "Oh yeah, it's about to happen, <laughs> guys, guys, guys! Check the. Why are you so fascinated <laughs> with this? No, watch, watch, watch! It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> what are you doing with your hand? Oh, don't just watch the monkeys. Trust me." Well, look at the monkeys. Look at the monkeys! <laughs> <laughs> so it really rem- it reminded me of, of a married couple because the female monkey's just kind of hanging out. Male monkey makes his way up, and he, he does the whole, like, rubs her leg and just kind of caresses <laughs> her. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know what that monkey wants. He's trying, he's trying to get some sexy time. That's what he's trying to do. Hey, it's hey, like, hey m- m- monkey lady, hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, babe, how you doing? I missed you. I missed you while I was in this cage. I missed you so much. Oh, I missed it, you when you were on one side and I was on the other side. <laughs> I thought I mi- I thought I couldn't see you, but you know it was just a, it was just another monkey. It, was, it wasn't you. But then I saw you. And my heart my heart was complete. And <laughs> so he kind of does that for a little bit. And uh, I think she got it like it triggered her in her mind. Like, oh, you just want to have sex, don't you, monkey? And she closes her legs real quick. <laughs> Oh, and so he sits, yeah, he got friend zoned. Shut down. So he kind of like goes into pout mode. So she's laying like belly facing us and he kind of like crouches with his back to us. And, you know, she starts just rubbing his back, <laughs> just rubbing his back. And then she's like, hmm, I wonder if you have any food. So she starts picking through him. And, you know, just like just like any male, you know, we are so much like monkeys, Richard. It's it's funny. <laughs> So she's picking through his hair, and like, you know, when you're laying there with your lady and she's rubbing your hair, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know what's yeah. about to happen. Oh, yeah, like any like any sort of physical contact whatsoever, and <laughs> yeah. you're like, oh, oh, oh. is this, mm. yeah, is this how it starts? This is how it starts. <laughs> so I read about she- this in a book. <laughs> I saw it in a movie. <laughs> so as she's rubbing through his hair, he just kind of whips his arm back and gets his, like, whole chest exposed to her. And she just kind of looks at him and looks away. <laughs> <laughs> and so he, he he's like, what? what? What's up, babe? Come on. Come on. I'm putting it all on Front Street. And so she, you know, he closes back up. She starts picking through his hair again. And all of a sudden, the girl they were with, she's like, it looks like he's pooping. It looks like he's pooping. And uh, he opens himself back up again. Yeah, Richard, that wasn't poop. <laughs> it was his oh. boner. Yeah. He, uh... He, not- I, so it's like the equivalent of what we do, just we have to deal with taking off clothes first. Yeah, exactly. Where you're like, like she starts rubbing your back, and then you're like, oh, that's nice. And then and then she, like, turns around for a second and, like, checks her phone and then turns back around and you're naked. And you're like, hey. Yeah, exactly. You were rubbing my back a second ago. Remember remember like, that? You, r- you rubbed my back? You remember? That's, it's sexy time, right? That's what that means? <laughs> yeah, right? No? <laughs> well, I would have, but I checked my phone. Now it's time for bed. I'm sorry. I sh- you know, maybe if you would have said something before I checked my phone. Now now it's too late. <laughs> it's too late in the night. The window closed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll 
you can totally snuggle me if you want, though. Let's snuggle. That'll be nice. God damn it. God, that's sad. We are like monkeys. Oh, very much so. But yeah, we watched for a bit and then uh, then kind of left the monkeys to do their thing. So I don't know if I don't know if monkey ever got to second base, but I, I felt for him. <laughs> I really felt for him. Monkey, you my bro. <laughs> I know the you pain, bro. Piece of that female monkey. <laughs> Just give it up, female monkey. Come on, he loves you. He loves you deep. He, he loves you. You're his bay. Whatever <laughs> the fuck that word is. Oh. See, but then again, you gotta you gotta swing it back around and say, "The fucking zoo," and there they are. Um, but I mean, it was a good trip. I like I said, I haven't been to a zoo in a while. Uh, it was wi- super super windy, but the Omaha Zoo had a bunch of indoor stuff. Um, I actually tried to conquer one of my fears while I was there, Richard. <gasps> Do they have a shark thing? They have a shark thing, like where you put your hand in the water. No, it's not quite. Uh, it's like an it's an aquarium, so you don't put your okay. hands and touch anything. But you, um, you know, uh, Jaws was it Jaws three where it's the Sea World thing? Yeah, and they've got the the shark that's in the the like underwater, you know, capsule thingy, Bobber. Yeah. So this place had something very similar. So you kind of walk through probably a good 35, 40 feet where there's water on both sides. Even it's just glass and there's just sharks and guppies and sea turtles just swimming all over the place. Dang. Yeah. So, so, so what'd you do? Uh, I ran straight through it and didn't look back. <laughs> no, it wasn't too bad. They had, uh, they didn't have any big, big sharks. They had a couple hammerheads and a few, I think they're like, uh, sand sharks or type things like nothing nothing big no tiger sharks no you know definitely no great whites nothing definitely big so i was gonna say like when 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 you think about your fear of sharks is it is it specific to a great white shark or or is it is it all sharks do all sharks share the same kind of fear for you it's more of uh i think more predatory sharks like big sharks you know you're looking at like your tiger sharks your great whites your big hammerheads um things that are known for attacking humans okay um you look at like a nurse shark it doesn't really attack humans it's it's just yeah kind of okay there. so that shark you're like fuck that shark that's a pussy shark yeah pussy shark go nurse on something else i'm gonna punch that shark but tiger shark you don't fuck with because he'll bite the shit out of you <laughs> I took my kids to the zoo and they had a they they had one of those kind of aquarium things where like you pay and they give you some food and you put it in the water and then uh what is it it's a uh, what they have in there oh stingrays they had stingrays in there so you would put the food in and then the stingrays would swing would swim up and eat the food and then you could like touch the stingrays you know yeah yeah and they had a shark in there they had a shark in there too i don't remember what kind of i want to say it was like a bull shark or something like that but it was kind of doing the same thing. And I remember my youngest had had food in her hand and she had it in the water. And, you know, she put the food in the water and uh, and she and the shark came up and she like, you know, was kind of like like she kind of had that nervous like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But she finally like did it. And she was like up by his nose. Uh-huh. And the and the uh, like they have people like walking around the tank or whatever. One of them was like, oh, oh that's a little, little close. To his mouth, sweetie, look close to his mouth. <laughs> and that's the story of how one of my kids lost their hand. <laughs> and now we call her Stumpy. <laughs> you know, you'd think she'd have a fear of sharks, but no, she wants to she wants to free dive yeah. with them. She does. She wants to caress them with her stumpy hand. <laughs> and a spear. I think she just wants revenge. Sweetest thing you ever saw. I'm gonna use this other hand to choke the life out of you, <laughs> shark. See? Uh same, same, same child when we were same day at the zoo, we went to the. We also went to the to the monkey cage, and uh, oh, I'm trying to think how old she was. She was probably like maybe five. Yeah, probably like yeah, about five. And we went to the monkey thing, and there was this orangutan, big fuck off monkey, you know, like a fucking orangutan. Richard, and they're apes. <laughs> <laughs> There's different breeds. <laughs> There's orangutans and apes and gorillas. They're all separate. But uh, it was sitting like right up against. It was just sitting right up against the glass, like right, just sitting right next to the glass. And like it's just sitting there, kind of like you know, staring off into space. And 
And that's uh, honestly, I think that's the moment where people just kind of get like, oh, yeah, because it's the look that like you look at like, OK, like this, like this orangutan sitting there just with this fucking look on its face like, oh, God, why am I? Oh, <laughs> you know what I did yesterday? This I pondered my life. Another goddamn day in the goddamn zoo. <laughs> you know what all you fucking humans look alike? I hate you all. You pray <laughs> to God I don't get out of here. I'm going to beat every one of you motherfuckers to death. <laughs> With my bare monkey hands. <laughs> oh, look, it's food time. <laughs> I'm going to eat. <laughs> so, uh, but so it's sitting there and it, <clears throat> it kind of has this like depressed look on its face or whatever. And my youngest... And I think, and I think she, like this girl, all of five years old, had that understanding, because as soon as she saw it, she walks up and she puts her hand like, co- like petting the glass. She's like, "It's okay, it's okay, monkey." And she's like petting the glass, and then the monkey's like looking at her, like, "Oh," <laughs> like the monkey, like <laughs> just is like staring at her, like, "Wait a minute, this." I think this one understands. <laughs> She's like, Dad, make the monkey dance. It's not entertaining me. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. Smack at it. Why are you doing anything? Do monkey stuff. Be happy, monkey. But yeah, she went up there. She's just, she's just like ever so slightly just caressing the glass. Like she's petting it. And she's like, it's okay, monkey. It's okay. And I was like. <laughs> She, like, all of five years old, and she figures out that this monkey is depressed as fucking shit. Yeah. Well, we walked by some orangutans that are like that. Like, they're digging in the straw. Like, these 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 uh, orangutans weren't even, like, looking at people. They're like, I fucking hate you all. You know what I, could, you know what I <laughs> used to be able to do? Swing from trees. You know, I'm like, huh. Yeah. I'm going to go for a walk. You know what I get to do? Just walk in circles here. Yeah. That's all I get. I got a tire swing. Look at that fucking tire swing they got me. I see the same fucking trees for my <laughs> life. You, 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 you want to guess? Take a guess. They're not real trees. They're fucking plastic. Yeah, because they're afraid I might hurt myself. <laughs> I live in the goddamn jungle. Yeah, I yeah. They should be afraid I want to hurt myself. You know why? Because I want to break a branch off and shove it in my fucking heart. I hate this place. Gregory, you're being a little too aggressive. Sorry. Hey, kids, look, I got a food sack. I'll put it on my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All the kids are laughing. Yeah, great job, monkey. Less talky, more dancey. <laughs> Less talky, more dancey. But that's the lesson that we've learned today. We've learned that zoos are interesting. Yeah. They have, you know, all sorts of cool animals to look at. And and it is I mean, there is something to be said about seeing a, a a giraffe or a monkey or a snake or something that you don't normally see. And, you know, and finally, you know, because when you're a kid, you see pictures in books and you're like, oh, that's a giraffe. That's a gorilla. You know, that's a boa constrictor. And to actually see one, then you're like, fuck, that's a giraffe. Like, these things are fucking enormous. Yeah, I think that's always the big surprise is like, holy shit, you know, this this black mamba is like, you know, seven feet long. Holy shit, that's a big ass snake. Yeah. But at the end of the day, as you're leaving, as you're walking back to your car and you've got your I went to the zoo hat and your <laughs> that you paid seventy five dollars for. Yeah. Oh, God. And you're wearing your T-shirt that says a monkey didn't throw shit at me and <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You have to think. You have to have that moment where you're like, they they, they, they don't get to leave. <laughs> you have to think, better them than me. I don't want to live in a fucking box. <laughs> Fuck you, zoo animals. I'm out. Yep. And that's your last thought is, hey, we won. <laughs> But then, but then you really think about it, and you go home, and you go to your job where you sit in a 14-by-14 14 14 box with somebody yep. standing behind you. Dance, human! Dance! <laughs> yep. So really, the moral of the story is we all live in a zoo. It just depends on what kind of zoo it is. <laughs> wow. So, uh, congrats, Sean, on the most depressing show we've ever done. <laughs> 
That's funny. All right, well, <laughs> well, bring bring us back around, Richard, with some closing thoughts. I I I, I was trying to, <laughs> and you 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 just you pulled the rug out from about that. See, now we're just we're all sad. You're like, please, <laughs> please send some happy tweets our way because we don't want Sean to break off the plastic branch and shove it <laughs> in his eye. He's had moments. I don't know if you people know this, but he's had moments <laughs> where he comes. He's like fucking work and it, i live in a zoo <laughs> i live in a zoo richard's like it's 50 50 if i go to his house he's either depressed or i can see him jerking off in the window or or there's a there's a small chance he's sitting in the tub with his gi <laughs> joe and barbie richard walks in just goes shame shame <laughs> All right, bring this puppy around with some closing thoughts, Richard. Um, you know, it it's 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 might be it might be easy to think that we all live in a zoo, but you know what we don't. The only zoo we create is the zoos we create for ourselves. So I say unto you, internet, to break free from your zoo and do something that gets you back on the savanna running free. And swinging from real trees. Whew. That was good. That was beautiful. That was good. I pulled I like that, that right out of my ass. That's going to be on a fucking calling card here in a bit. Oh, they're. Oh, good thing they know that they don't know that I'm completely bullshitting. <laughs> Wait All a right. minute. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll do a little bit of housekeeping. Visit our website. We're at languageofbromance.com. Follow us on Twitter. We're at languageofbro. Email us at eat the beaver at languageofbromance.com. Like us on Facebook and check us out on the Pocket Cast. It's an iOS, Android, Windows phone app. So subscribe and leave a review on iTunes and Stitcher. And don't forget to check us out on the Pod Bros Network. It's it's definitely not a zoo of podcasts because it is the best podcast site on the internet. It's the best the best podcast zoo on the internet. We're all in our little cages. <laughs> We're all crazy animals. <laughs> And if you're in the need for some headbuds, go to tweakedaudio.com. Use the promo code LOBARMY. You'll get 33% off. All right. Was there anything else before I close her out? No. Rap, land this baby. All right. Well, that's all the bromance we have for this show. I'm Sean. And I'm Richard. And I say we eat the beaver. I, I can't. I can't do anything funny. I'm too sad. <laughs> What's that monkey doing, Mom? What your husband hasn't done for years. <laughs> <laughs>